Live at Indiana Native, Nick Gepper is celebrating after winning the silver medal in slope style skiing in South Korea. Uh, Gepper won the bronze in Sochi, and our Carlos Diaz is live from South Korea this morning with how Nick and his family are reacting to this latest medal. Carlos, good morning. Oh, guys, good morning. As you can see, I'm just totally USA'd up because I'm so excited still about yesterday. You know, we've been here for two weeks, and yesterday was by far the most exciting day. Nick Gepper, Indiana Zone, gets the silver medal in the ski slope style event. It was a hard-earned victory that Nick had. And by the way, I was with his parents all day yesterday, uh, Nick's parents. And if you're a parent of a child who plays like, you know, Little League Baseball or whatever and you're kind of stressed out, yeah, take that times a million if you're an Olympic parent. As you're about to see, Nick's whole family, his mom, his dad, his two sisters, his brother, his girlfriend, were all riding a roller coaster of emotions. That's what I'm talking about! How do you feel, how do you feel about That's this run? I'm just glad my husband didn't take me out. You know? <laughs> It was awesome. It's such a huge relief to have that first start under our belt. So we're through qualifications. How do you feel about Nick's performance so oh, far? I think it was great. Um, I know he's focused. I know he's talking to his coach. <laughs> the uh, the highs and lows and highs of being an Olympic parent, guys. So you were right there in the middle of it, saw all those runs. I mean, did you think he was going to actually take home a medal? Julia, I got to be honest with you. No, I didn't. I, I was losing faith quickly because he did so well in that first qualifying run and he was on top of the world and then he did not so great in the next qualifying run and his next two runs in the finals were, were really bad and I mean his whole family was down but then four years came down to two minutes and he nailed it and got the silver after getting the bronze in Sochi, guys. And perhaps what was even cooler, Carlos, is Nick gave a pretty cool shout out to Indiana's Perfect North yeah. Slopes, of course, after qualifications. He said, like, what's up, Perfect North? What's up, Indiana? <laughs> Which is really cool to hear from Nick after all this. <laughs> Yeah, they had a viewing party, Ben, at Perfect North, so they were all cheering him on. And uh, it's great because everyone's well aware of how much Nick and his family love Indiana. In fact, coming up at 645, we're going to have a, a segment that shows his love of Indiana. And get this, I love this story. When Nick was a kid growing up in Lawrenceburg, Indiana, he used to sell candy on the school bus so that he could pay for lift tickets for himself so he'd hopefully one day be an Olympian. Guys? All right, and you look like an Olympian this morning, <laughs> by the way, all decked out in your Team USA gear. <laughs> <laughs> Bring us uh, home some. Uh, Thanks so much, Julia. USA. USA. <laughs> Thanks, USA. Carlos.